Hello everybody, welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. We just beat some soldiers. And we met up with Judith. I'm sorry for involving you in this. I can see why they call you a hero. Well, that's ancient history. Anyway, long time no see, Professor. Are you still watching this boy's back? Can you everyone? Yeah. Yeah, cute ass. Says the leader who has neglected Alliance territory for years. If you're really the master tactician, you should go back to working quietly at whatever little desk you do your planning on. Yeah, don't call me that either. Who even came up with that nickname? Master tactician? It's a perfect title for a boy who loves crafty schemes as much as you do. Well, you should be grateful to the professor. On your own, you'd look like a scoundrel of a leader. <laughs> Yo! He's usually so flippant, but even he gets overwhelmed when Judith is around. As expected from the leader of the prestigious House Daphna, her dignity is beyond compare, even if she is no longer one of the five great lords. Five great lords? The five most influential lords of the Lester Alliance. They hold the voting rights at the roundtable conferences. House Daphne hmm. used to be included among their ranks, but division from within has hastened their decline. Their vote has since been passed to the emerging Margrave Edwin. Okay. <laughs> Yo! I will not. There were some unexpected interruptions. My boy. brought soldiers and supplies as promised. Thanks, Judith. I'll gladly take them off your hands. Hold your horses, boy. Your misunderstanding. These soldiers are precious to me. I made them what they are. I'm not about to loan them out to someone. Oh. Okay. No? Oh, she's gonna join us? I'll be joining your army. Let's go, Judith. You're going to fight the Empire with the Knights of Saros, right? Fight for Lady Rhea? Not without me. Let's That's go, Judith. Let's go. I still don't know for sure if Rhea is in the... Oh, she's there. Oh, she's there. Rhea being dragged off by the Imperial Army after the battle five years ago. Huh. Interesting. Saw it happen. I'm certain. So we were right in our decision to fight against the Empire. But yeah, buddy. Of House Daphne, is it okay for you to leave your territory unattended? And what about Bitch, I don't give a shit about my territory. <laughs> the Regan territory unattended? That's I I've left it in the hands of a reliable retainer and And I've asked that retainer to watch over Daphne territory as well. Dude, this guy's got the best job right now. <laughs> or the most stressful you just job. Up and decided to get my retainer to do that without even asking me? No respect this one. What retainer? Oh, you haven't met him yet, Professor? His name is Nardell. Nardell? He strikes me as a really special individual. And he's quite handsome, too. Ooh. So that's your definition of handsome? Oh, wow. Objection, friend. Good. That settles it. House Daphne is now yours to command. I'm sure you'd come along even if I refused. <laughs> we'll be counting on you, Judith. Oh my god, I love these characters. But Nardell, ooh, I want to meet this handsome young man. And some young retainer. We've secured some more troops and supplies, albeit not many. Hm. I'm sorry, couldn't be more. <laughs> it's enough for the time being. We'll use them to secure even more troops and supplies. Um. You think we can do that? The key to my plan is Count Gloucester, the leader of the pro empire faction in the alliance. You intend to sway my father to join the other side? If Count Gloucester were to switch to the other side. That would basically unify the alliance. Then we could utilize our full military force in the fight against the Empire. You hmm. don't mean to ask me to persuade him, do you? That would be quite impossible. I don't plan on it. We'll just take his concerns out of the equation. The Aramid River flows along the border between Gloucester territory and the Empire, right? Of all the bridges that cross it, the Great Bridge of Murden is the only one near Gloucester territory large enough for an army. Okay. Currently, the Imperial Army occupies it. So, if we were to capture the bridge... Count Gloucester would be freed from the threat of the Empire, thanks to us. But we have to pass through mm. Gloucester territory to reach the Great Bridge of Murden, do we not? Yes, and if we attempted it, naturally he would try to stop us. I am sorry, but I must ask. Surely you do not plan to engage in combat with <laughs> my father. Don't worry. 
I want him as a future ally. What good would it do to waste both of our forces fighting? Okay, then what's your plan? I take it you have a scheme? Who do you think you're talking to, Teach? Preparations are in the works even now. Oh, Claude. You're reliable <laughs> so as ever. The master tactician is finally going to show us his true power. I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> I'll do my best to live up to that name by making my scheme as impressive as possible. Hmm. Interesting. So we have to get to the bridge. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Lone Moon. The Rose-Colored River. The Alliance Army successfully rendezvous with Judith and Ailel with the addition of House Daphnil's forces. The time has come to invade Empire territory. Oh, that was it? Okay. So I I legit killed Ash though. Like, I'm pretty sure Ash won't show up ever again. So if we run into Petra, I'm gonna try and talk to her, because me and Petra were friends before this. Oh, Preparations are complete. Now it's a game of patience. As they say, good things come to those who wait. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on this plan of yours, Claude? Can we really do this without battling my father? Pretty soon, Count Gloucester will need to gather his troops in the northern part of his territory. Uh, against House Regan and Daphne? You got it, Teach. Uh -huh. The combined forces of the Regan and Daphnel houses will threaten the northern part of the Gloucester territory. Nardell, that retainer I mentioned, is going to draw their attention. Interesting. So we're distracting him, and then we're going to run behind him. And are you not concerned about the possibility that I may tip off my father? The future of the Alliance rests on this battle. I'm certain you won't betray us. I will ensure our success. I know you will. Oh, if we can win this fight, then our next goal will be to topple Enbok, the Imperial capital. I said before that my plan was to meddle with the Empire, but I'm going to do you one better. We are going to defeat the Empire once and for all. But to yeah. do that, we can't afford to slip up here. Bear that in mind and prepare yourselves for the coming battle. Yes, sir. Damn. Claude is sexy AF. I ain't gay, man, but if I was... Claude's looking pretty nice. Saint and Deech Day is today and there will be a... Yeah, let's go to the thing. Let's go to the thing. Let's go to the thing. Yeah, I get to spend time with Marianne. You don't have to. I cannot stand it. I do wish everyone would listen to one another. What? I gotta check. Oh, Ignatz? Yeah, sure. How incredible. What a striking color. Ah, Professor. Look at this stone. Such a brilliant blue. You don't normally find stones like this around here. I ought to grind it down. I wonder if it would still be the same color. Why do you want to grind it down? To make a paint? To make pigment for my art. Oh. Good supplies don't come cheap. I prefer to make my own. Blue is especially expensive. Yeah. How fortunate that I chanced upon this remarkable blueness. Blue is more expensive than anything? Sorry. I feel like red I would be it's super it's expensive now because of the Empire. Well, it's just a hobby, right? I guess blue would be expensive because oh, yes. landscaping, you want to paint. And it's a primary it. color. Enthusiastic. You know, Professor, no matter how impassioned I become about my art, you never hold it against me. One could argue that I'm better off preparing for our next battle. I am becoming a knight. Wouldn't you rather become an artist? You should become an artist. Oh, Professor. Please don't say things like that. 
I gave up on my artistic dreams long ago. Same. <laughs> my family, I will be a knight. That's that. Uh, you'll regret that choice. No, I won't. I'm doing the right thing. I'll continue with my art as a hobby. Me and Ignatz connect I I way more than off. I realize, man. When I see something beautiful, I can't suppress the urge to paint it. I don't have a choice. And if my art can bring happiness to even one person... Oh my god. That's good enough for to me. think I hated Ignatz when he's literally me, that's probably why I hated him. Professor, I have a favor to ask. I'm painting a portrait right now. When it's finished, I'd like to give the piece to you. Would you take it? Perhaps it can bring you a little happiness. A portrait? The effort well worth it. Is it going to oh, be a portrait excellent. of you? Is that a promise? Because I'm really going to put my heart in it. Uh, that is, I'm going to <laughs> partaking in this casual hobby of mine. My boy. Oh, baby Ignatz. Love you, man, honestly. Honestly, love you, man. It's so awesome how I've grown to love character, like certain characters in this game. Like, Lorenz I didn't like. How are you doing, and like, professor? you know, and Would Ignatz I didn't like. Join me for a cup of tea? Uh, okay. It occurs to me that whenever we chat, I have a tendency to pester you with my questions and theories about your history. It seems only fair to speak on the topic of myself for once. Okay. And perhaps you might feel more positively inclined toward my research if I shared my own story. So you just want me to help with your research? You have my attention, I guess, yeah. I am quite pleased to hear you're interested. Yes, quite pleased. Well, I suppose I should begin at the beginning, eh? I was born into a noble house of the Empire. Not a large house, mind you, but noble all the same. Our land holdings were small, but our bloodline was quite strong. So, as you can imagine, there were many of us in the family who carried the power of crests. I myself bear a minor crest. Okay. Our family's abundance of crests may be part of the reason I've been interested in the topic since I was just a boy. Mm -hmm. I dedicated myself to my studies, and after years of effort, I became lead crest scholar at the Empire's largest research institution. Why come to Garrick Mock? You gave up that to come here? <laughs> yeah. My research is more important than social standing in the Empire. Well, we are at war there at the Empire currently. Imperial blood, and thus Imperial crests at hand. Ah, interesting. I Mock and devoted myself to my research during my time as a professor. My progress is slow, but with each revelation, I move ever closer to the answers I have sought for decades. Your cooperation as the bearer of the Crest of Flames ensures my research will continue to advance. In fact, it may bring me ever closer to the goal of uncovering everything there is to know about Crests. I do hope you shall continue helping me advance in this field of study. <laughs> if you insist now, I'll say okay. Together, we will solve the mystery of your crest of flames, and our world will be the better for it. Shall we proceed? My lab instruments are fully prepared. I have a great number of things <laughs> I'm excited to carry out. No, no, don't worry. They won't hurt one bit. Oh my god. Hanuman, you put it a little bit strong, but... I gotta spend an episode doing some supports. I think I might do the next episode on some supports, but you know, we'll see. Um, we can do a seminar. What's certification looking like? Right, they need to be they need to be level thirty or higher. Claude has nothing to. He can be a dark knight, I think. Ooh, 100% Dark Knight certification exam for Lorenz. Bro. Look at this dude. Was there any doubt? Change, yeah, change this to your current class. Damn. 
War Master. Uh, he needs his axe to be higher. But it's at a pretty good percentage right now. I'll save it for now. So he needs his axes up. He hasn't gotten anything yet. She can potentially be a Grimmery. Her faith needs to be higher. Oh my god, girl. Look at that dress on you. So she needs faith up. Marianne doesn't have anything. I want to see what Marianne would look like as a Grimmery. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh my god. I need to get her reason up. I wanted her to become a holy knight or whatever. Right? There's... Well, let's, let's check. There's the holy knight. I believe. Oh, she would look beautiful as a holy knight too. It was... It, I feel like it was something else though. Haha. <laughs> Yo, she looks so cute as a mortal savant as well. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, I think I might go for a Grimmery, because mortal savant is reason as well, so she doesn't have sword up or reason. So trying to get up both. But I guess I'll start focusing on reason for her, mostly. Uh, she still she also isn't even level thirty yet, so we don't really have to worry about it too much. We can't do anything with her right now. It's kind of annoying that a lot of the final f master classes are all like flying units. I wish there was like more variety. But like they're all riding units on something. So I guess she's going to become a great knight. That's basically all she can do. So we need heavy armor and riding. You're gonna become... a bow knight. Love it. Sorry if this is annoying anyone, I just wanna... She hasn't even gone into an advanced class yet, what the fuck? Warlock or Bishop. Warlock is, is a black magic specialist and a bishop is a healer. Um, I guess we'll do this one. I'm so okay. And he, yeah. What about you, Catherine? I feel like a mortal savant would be Catherine's goal. So she should learn reason as well. And Shamir would probably become a bow knight. But she should learn riding. Okay. Um, let me explore... The monastery today because we have the dlc supplies here dlc supplies are now available these supplies have been taken all at once as a set you must have space available in your convoy to store them if you do so so sacred items okay um my journal okay Let's check this out. So I have attire, so I have academy attire with cloak. Let's see what that looks like. Ugh. House loungewear. Ooh. We're going back to war. And accessories, we have glasses. I kind of want glasses because I wear glasses. House loungewear. I feel like these aren't going to be as fun as I thought they were. If they're all just going to be wearing that. Check like hell though. If they're all just going to be wearing that, that's kind of lame. I was expecting something crazier than just basketball jerseys. Oof. That kind of sucks. 
Well, we have a couple of supports we can do. Yeah. Okay. But you have another quest for me? To ensure the safety of traveling merchants, take down bandits. Okay. That's something else. Um. There's Catherine. Oh, I should check my my food or my crops. Plant. Plant random stuff. But oh so, actually. Always click this. Inventory. I want to see... So this is... I want to see the details of all this stuff. Dexterity. Movement. Defense. Luck. Speed. Strength. Strength. HP, flashes, permanently increases HP by 7. So I feel like... I want to give the HP... I want to give the HP to Hilda. I not use this item? Items. Use. Okay. Speed, we can pro. Speed and movement. I kind of want to give movement. To Marianne. I don't know what is wrong with me. Uh, use. Strength. I give strength to our boy Raphael. That's dexterity, that's defense, luck. Speed, strength. And that's another strength one. Um, I don't know why I can't, I keep doing that. I want to put the defense through the, yeah. Defense. Use. Is there anything I want to give you? Luck. Uh, increases speed. This one cre cre increases your health by seven. I actually don't think I should give that to her. Please. Store. I think I should give that health buff to... Maybe to Claude. Use that. Dexterity, luck, and increase. Um, okay, so that, and then I want to increase Ignatz's luck. Store. And I guess his dexterity, too.
Wait, we have another one? We'll just keep giving it to him, I guess. Okay. And now, I want to find everyone who can teach me reason magic. Mercedes is somewhere here. There she is. Can she teach me reason? This is faith. Zelda, no one's in the marketplace. Your Lysetha, I know, can teach me a reason. So we've done it. I'm sure you faced even the Empire did the only. And then. I don't think Marianne can teach me reason. I'm going to talk to her just because I love her. I don't, I didn't, sorry, I didn't listen to anything you said. I'm not, as they say, a good re or a good listener. They're probably in their rooms. I want to say Hanneman's is there. What's up, babe? Oh, hello there. It doesn't look like you're wounded or anything. You just looking for someone to talk? I thought so. Well, I'm here for you. Whether it's physical pain or worries of the heart, you can come to. Oh, you're cute and adorable, but this is Faith, right? You're a healer, so Hanuman should probably be able to. The battle at it where there's most. It is quite now. You can teach me reason. Forty-six. Okay, and I think that's pretty much everyone. Let's go see if we can answer any of the letters. And we can probably do some other stuff. Uh, I have concerns about allowing a young woman still on the cusps of adulthood to spend time alone with members of the opposite sex. What she thought? She'll resent you if you interfere too much. You should trust her, even if you're worried. Try to prevent it as much as you can. I think she'll resent you for it, but you're not going to like that answer, so I don't know. Um... Let's go check the statues. Need something. I don't have any Let's renown. Uh... The monastery feels so empty without, like, everybody from all the classes, but I guess that's, like, the effect they want it to have. We killed Ash. I'm just, like, I I'm wrapping that in my in my mind real quick. Like, we killed Ash straight up. Okay, but let's, I guess we'll do some support conversations for Teach over here. Because we haven't really done anything on that. Of that nature, and you can't just do it whenever. I asked to be on the sidelines. Why did you put me on the battlefield? Because you're a warrior. You did protect me, so I guess I can't complain. Wait a second, you're hurt. Did that happen when you were defending me? No. <laughs> Look at my glasses. <laughs> Look what. <laughs> It's a fantasy world, and just seeing him with like regular like Ray Ban's glasses. Perhaps you'll say that that's what friends do. They look out for each other and save each other. But if I saw you getting attacked, I wouldn't risk my neck to save you. Yes, he would. Hey. No, yes, he would. Me. I don't know if I've told you this, Professor. I have a very impressive. I want to meet your big brother so bad. Strong. Perfect. I imagine him having a pink beard, Before looking like Markiplier. Him, people talked about him becoming the next leader of the Alliance. 
Don't mention that to Lawrence. <laughs> he never shuts up about that kind of thing. Anyway, my parents have high expectations for my brother, and he almost always meets them. No one expects anything of me. If something's even a little bit difficult, I find someone else to do it for me. Yeah. That's what I've done my whole life. Are you scared of disappointing people? Of course. I can't stand the idea of not meeting someone's expectations. I know how people feel. Oh, I feel that. From watching my Relatable. People force their expectations on you. And then if you fail, they look so disappointed. Whenever that happens to my poor brother, he looks just devastated. So don't expect anything of me, please. That way, I can't disappoint you. Huh. I won't expect anything, but I believe in you. Ooh. You're stubborn. Okay, fine. Keep believing in me. I do want to support you and support my friends. I just don't want to let you down. Alright, you have not let me down. You have increased my ex- like, not expectations, but you've cre increased how much I believe in you. By like a tenfold. Okay. Uh, and we have another person, and then I think we should just do the like the luncheons. Is it where is it at? Somewhere in this room. It's outside. Professor, who are you? I've been away. The scars of five years ago may still be raw. Anyway, I'm going to start up business. Oh, cool! I'm glad. Oh, I haven't seen Flane in forever. What's up, girl? It has been a while since we last spoke, Professor. Spare me a moment again, will you not? You recall how you helped me and allowed me to join your class, yes? Mm -hmm. I have learned a great many things since then. Indeed, I have truly grown so much. No, you actually look exactly the same from five years ago. So, I feel like you're some sort of goddess. I'm not sure you've grown that much. Excuse Bars. Me. Are you implying that I am still naive? Yeah. I will have you know that I have made many friends and am constantly learning new things. Why, when I go to the market alone, <laughs> even haggle. You must be familiar with the delicate art of haggling, in which one negotiates a lower asking price for an item. That is the type of knowledge common only to those as mature as myself. How old are you again? Uh. Um, have you not asked this once before? It is a bit rude to ask repeatedly, you know. You never told me. Is that so? Well, it seems we have something in common, since I do not know your age either. Come now, there is nothing to be gained from focusing so heavily on age. Touching on previous Sounds like something a pedophile would say. I mentioned how you possess an air of mystery. I compared you to any old sea, but I have come to realize you are more like a particular sea, one I have seen before. The when ocean? I was quite small, my mother would take me out to play in the sea. She was an excellent okay. fisher. Are you telling you want to tell me you want to play in me? I fish deeply because of her. I like fishing too. Where are you going with this? <laughs> You're totally like a goddess or something. You think we've met before? No, I do not think so. It is all quite strange, really. Still, four people with green hair, four statues. Both your hair and eyes are unmistakably. Hmm? Oh, apologies. Just muttering to myself. It is nothing. Okay. Mutterings aside, I mean to say that you do not feel like a stranger to me. For whatever reason. I feel deeply connected to you. And for this, I am glad. Okay. Poggers, dude. Okay. Um. Dining hall. 
that's what I was looking for. It has a little logo and everything, and I always forget it. Today's special. I feel like Manuel and Raphael could be a good, good ship. Um, is every is anyone like other than Lysetha? Catherine and Lysetha are the ones that need some cheering up. Catherine and Lysetha. I'm trying to think of other things I can do. In... I'm trying to think of other things I can do now that like everybody is motivated in my class. Um. Let's do some karaoke singing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's it's like church singing. Significantly worse. Hilda Manuela. Right, this teaches healing to people. Um, I dislike wasting stuff. Like, I have three things, so I might as well use all three. So I'm gonna do this. That's... This will do two, because it will be me and Manuela, or her and Manuela. Oh, I can only do one. Okay, so, ooh, I have another. I'm going to save that for another day. Um, really trying to figure out what I can do. I guess I might just go find someone to teach me, like uh, Raphael and... I'm in here. I'm such an I'm such a dunce. Uh what does the bulletin board say? Oh what? I could have fast traveled to people? Baru. Thanks you all I've got some oh. Um Let's level up in fisticuffs because I'm getting I need to do something. Or else I feel like I've wasted my time. Uh, Catherine is somewhere in here. She's up in line. No. It says Catherine's in here. If I can't find her, I'll go find someone else. Uh, here's Claude. We're evenly matched in terms of military power, more or less. So if we can just launch a surprise attack, it could go either way. The bridge is basically a fort, but that's why you're here, Teach. Cool, thanks. Uh, let's see this. Okay. Well, see you guys next time. Hopefully, you enjoyed. I'm gonna end it off for today. Uh, see you for some more Fire Emblem Three Houses.